Hey, hey. Good morning. How is everybody? Let's start. You have, may have noticed this is not Genshin Impact. This is Baldur's Gate. The reason this is Baldur's Gate is because I cannot get Genshin Impact to work today. Because I've got to download it. Uh, well, I tried to download it last night and it, it thought it was downloading and then it wasn't downloading. So we've been having a lot of technical difficulties this morning and just general difficulties in general. You guys have no idea. I woke up from a dream involving Gargura and Mori Calliope with you guys just to go stream for you guys. I was in a dream with Mori Calliope and Gargura and I woke up because of my alarm because I had to go stream. I could, I was at a party with them. I could have, I could have, so many things could have happened in that dream. But I, it ended early just for you guys. Ah. So yeah, this morning has been tough. Um, but I'm here. And hi guys. And we are playing Baldur's Gate while I also chat about what's been going on the past couple weeks. And tell you guys all about uh, my adventures with the family. Hi, Lance. Hi, Kick. Hi, Weapon Master. Hi, Echo. Everybody is here. Okay, let's press the key to continue. Ah, we're continuing this game. Hi, Cody. Hey. All right, let's have Baldur's Gate. Load. I just wanted a game to play while I chatted because I feel like I need something to do with my hands, you know? I gotta keep my hands busy uh, and stuff while I talk. Otherwise it gets kind of boring. Hi, Shark Lady. I like your name. Hi, Echo. You're shooting some landing crafts. Very good. Yeah. Gotta keep busy playing games. Um... Oh, oh, we're back here. We made it in time. I forgot what we did last time because it's been a long time. So yeah, we're gonna watch her connect some tentacles. And let's see, what have I been up to this past two weeks? So as you guys know, my parents are currently visiting us. You know, it might be more difficult than I thought to not get distracted while talking while playing a game. This is very distracting. There's a lot of tentacles uh, and dragons and stuff. Hmm. I am very distracted by things. Oh, it's super laggy too. Let me fix that. My PC has been having so many issues, guys, this morning. I had to restart it, and it wasn't recognizing anything, and it didn't know where I was, or who it was, or who I was. It was just a mess, but it's working now. <laughs> you can't hear the gun. Oh, let's lower the game settings. Is too loud? Okay, let's make it quieter. Uh, I think that should work. Good to know. Ah, lower the game settings to make it less laggy. Is that what you meant? Because if so, I don't know how to do that. Uh, hmm. Let's try this. Hmm. Ooh, no, it's optimized. What's that mean? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think my PC is just having problems. Good 
Good morning, Narita. Mm. Ooh, drumming goblins. This is a very long cutscene. But it's very epic. And still very glitchy. Oh, look how hot we are. Yeah, Baldur's Gate is very good. Oh, it's Tentacle Dude! And there's a lot of tentacles. That's right. Now uh, we fall out. Let's see. It seems to be working okay. Maybe. Why not? Ooh, we're all bloody. We look cool. Surprised to return once you were free of the mind flare ship. But you're... The return of Maneki 69. Oh, that's right. We're Maneki 69. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, welcome. We are Maneki 69. Hey, Brad. Oh, no. No notifications. That I don't know how to fix either. That's super weird. Got it. Uh, we need to go do stuff. Ooh, yeah. The game is super slow. Well, let's go say hi to the mangled fisher. Take his money. You drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty. Ooh, are we getting turned on by a are we like a necrophiliac? Sounds like we're a necrophiliac. We're like, ooh, this corpse makes me feel something stirring inside of me. Ooh, that's be that's grin. Be like, yeah, carbs. <laughs> Let's check that. Minus one. <laughs> I don't remember anything. Yes, yeah, it's dark urge playthrough. You have no game audio, and the Discord links don't work. Why are you banned? That's weird. So many weird problems. Um, now do you have audio? Let's make the audio louder again. How about that? Ooh, something unknowable and unspeakable. How's that? Better? Hmm. <laughs> Stir Nick <laughs> stirring in these <laughs> audio is back. Yeah, every time I click off the game, the audio goes away, I think. Um, and I also boosted up the volume just in case. Let's see. <laughs> but the game is still super glitch, like super weird and glitchy. 
Yes, Nick, welcome. Welcome to <laughs> the box. The box of dirty minded people. <laughs> uh, you know, I wonder if I'm playing the game on the wrong hard drive. How do I check that? You know, I'm very good at technology, clearly. It's been a warning. It's been a warning of only technology not working. Why would this be any different? Why would I expect my stream to actually work properly the way intended? It never works the way I intend. Ah. Uh, let's check which disk is running. Game. How do I do that? It should be running on the disk that it is working on. Let's check this. CPU. I don't know what that means. Um, how to fix lagging game on PC. Let's see if it's still lagging. Yeah, super laggy. Weird. Oh, it's her. Oh, it's Shadowheart. Hi, Shadowheart. We're just gonna leave you there for a bit. You'll be fine. Nick is savage. Just check the comments. <laughs> Pistachios. <laughs> the dark urge. <laughs> Everyone's favorite kind of nuts. Is that what we're discussing over here? Hmm. I like chest nuts. <laughs> Okay, bye. I'm gonna go fix things now. I wonder if it's my internet, it's slow. It's been really weird all morning too. Let's see.
Does the game have performance high graphics settings? Um, uh, let's see about that. Options. Video. Uh... I don't know. Frame rate is stuck like that. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's the problem, maybe. Feel like it should be running on the graphics card. Let's try that. Maybe it's ah, I think that might have fixed it. Roasted chestnuts and sugar? Yeah, you got you don't need sugar. You can eat them well not raw. Not hundred percent raw. You can't eat the nuts raw. You you have to cook them a little bit, but you can you can eat chestnuts without anything. They're delicious. Oh no, nope. problem not solved. Oh well. Let's go find some bodies. Gold. A brain! Kinda wish I was, uh... A necromancer so I could... Revive the brain. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe I'm running the settings too high. Right, let's try that. Video. Let's try medium. Back. Zoom. It worked just fine when I was playing it before. I don't think that fixed anything. I think there's probably something on my PC. Oh well. I tried. This morning it's just been one thing after another. Chestnuts are poisonous. You have to get them prepared. Yeah, they're poisonous if you eat them raw. Hmm, what's over here? It's a path. We discovered a waypoint. Look at that. Fire. Oh no, the abducted commoner is dead. Those wretched things. My character is, I think last time I checked, all I remember is she's a dummy mommy. <laughs> then I really wanted to mod her to make her even sexier. Uh, but I also haven't had time to figure out mods. But yeah, actually what I wanted to tell you guys about was uh, my adventures recently. Because, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. We probably haven't heard of it because a lot of people haven't heard of it. There's this seaside town in Japan called Atami. And it's on the coast. It's only like 40 minutes away from Tokyo. And it's really fun. Um, and it has like a sightseeing spot. And it has all kinds of cool things to do. Uh, it mainly has beaches and hot springs. Okay, let's go kill these guys. Ah, uh, let's bonk them. Die! Um, but yeah, Atami is really fun. Hi, Gonbrang! Oh, really? <laughs> Gonbrang, <laughs> whose name I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Very true. Ah. Uh, <laughs> but anyway yeah Atami is a really nice town it's got this old vibe it's a little bit kind of falling apart because it used to be like a vacation town 
but till it stopped being a vacation town because I guess people stopped going there as much but um, it's got a cool castle you can go up to top and check out the castle it's really fun um, but the thing is when you go up to the top of the castle oh no I'm gonna die let's do that um, there's a very interesting museum that is on the way to the top of the castle and I don't know why they have this there because it's like a child friendly the rest of it's child friendly but then you just go up the gondola and you're at the you go up the gondola and then you see this sign and it's a very interesting sign it's got it was more like a sculpture really it's like a mural and it's a very interesting mural um, it's got a lot of people on it and the people are in uh, unusual positions that are creative and I've never seen before and you follow this mural instead of going up to the castle and then there's this museum entrance that looks like something out of like the I want to say like the 60s it's very like plush velvet and just, and like just a very old like movie theater box office vibes and when you go inside uh, <laughs> You can, it's a, uh, you, just, you get your tickets, and uh, it says uh, 18 plus only, so that's fun. It's like, okay, it's just uh, no kids in this museum. Um, and there's, a, there's a cool animatronic mermaid. Well, she's actually really creepy because it, like old animatronics are always creepy. It doesn't matter how sexy they made them, they're still creepy. And then you go all the way inside of the museum. <laughs> you gotta... <laughs> <laughs> and it's very interesting. Why will this thing just not die? It's so annoying. Yeah, so you go all the way in the museum, and then you're greeted by this weird turtle creature with a head that is definitely not a head. I mean, it's, it's kind of a head, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um... But, uh, yeah, that kind of gives you a sense of where things are going. And then there's this shrine where you can pray for fertility, and it's got a giant statue of, a uh, things. It's, it's made of rock. It's a very hard statue. And then there's all these kinds of, like, um, old Japanese art, which is very historical and very cultural and very... Um, impressively detailed. Um, people in old Japan were very good at drawing. <laughs> Do not put anything you don't want separated from you and the robot. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I was hinting at, huh? <laughs> oh, what's this? No, no, don't attack it. I'm gonna die if I... Oh. Whoops. It's very difficult to not die while playing this game while talking. Is this really my Nike stream? What the heck are you hearing? I'm just telling you guys about this very cultural museum that I went to. It was- it's- it's, it's very cultured. It's the most cultured of museums. So much culture was in that museum. It was very impressive. They had so many animatronics, guys. The animatronics were very- about as- jolty as this game is. <laughs> oh, my stream popped up when you were watching shorts. Awesome. <laughs> I need a quick word. At least that notification worked. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I've got one of those oh, hi. Hi, Asterian. So, yeah, I feel like Asterian would like the adult museum. <laughs> I feel like Asterian would have appreciated it. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed... Go kill it yourself. I, I can't be bothered. Well, not to worry. <laughs> Oh no! He's gonna attack me! Oh, Australian's on top of us. <laughs> How's the inside? It's very narrow and tight inside the museum. It was so there were so many narrow passages, and it was actually pretty maze like. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so all the different exhibits. Also, there were these buttons, and they had a very interesting shape, and you had to push the very tip of the button in order to make the video play. That was fun. And there was a chair you could sit in. And then if you sat in the chair and you looked at the screen, then a genie appeared above you and said that they were going to show your innermost desire. And then they showed you corn, <laughs> which was very 
I guess that's everybody's innermost desire because I showed it to everyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a fun. And I was there with my mom because we were like, "What the heck is this museum?" And I said, "Mom, come with me. Come with me to the museum." <laughs> Yeah, that's why Japan, why? This museum's been around for ages. It's definitely built before, like, the internet could cancel it. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, I went in with my mom, and at first she was like, I don't know about going in this museum. I don't know, like, I don't know if this is the kind of museum I want to do. Oh, tentacled freaks? Hi, Australian. You arrogant little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar oh, eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. It's super hard not to get distracted while playing a game and also telling a story. But yeah, I took Mama Neki with me into the museum, and she was like, "No, no, no. This is. I don't know if I want to go. It seems so expensive. I don't know if it'll be fun." And she was left. She was laughing more than than I was. Uh, she was laughing the whole way through. She thought it was so funny, and then there was this. She she was loving all of the exhibits. She was. I was like, okay, I'm good. Like I'm just gonna walk through. And she was like, wait, wait, wait. No, I haven't finished watching. <laughs> I have to check this out first. <laughs> no, it was just me and Mama Neki. Uh, yeah, Dad and Bro were, were not very interested. Surprisingly, in the museum. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they, I think they were too embarrassed, but Mama Neki was like, okay, I guess we'll go. I don't really want to, but if you make me come, she's very sundere. <laughs> and then she was like, whoa, <laughs> she thought it was so funny. She was like, ah, it's like so retro, <laughs> it's retro corn. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she thought it was hilarious, and it was really interesting, because it wasn't just uh, me and her, there were like, there, there's like some high school, I don't know if they, they couldn't have been high school students, but there was a group of, of guy, of boys, who seemed like they were college age, and they were like embarrassing each other, and laughing at each other, and that was typical, and then there were couples, that was very interesting, very interesting date choice, but they were cute, and, and they were, they were laughing, yeah, I think it's, it's good luck if you pet the turtle spirit on the head, you gotta, you gotta rub the head real hard, Brad, <laughs> for the luck. Um, anyway, yeah, and then there was actually a couple of older, there's quite a few older women who were like in their, I want to say in their, like, I have trouble telling, but in their 70s? <laughs> Here we go already. Uh, we didn't finish, we didn't finish the museum yet. Mod the left last angel. I am I am not lucky enough. I'm a very unlucky cat as evidenced by this morning's attempt at streaming. <laughs> I need more luck. I gotta I gotta rub the head harder. <laughs> um but yeah, so uh those and the older women were also laughing and they were they were like kind of enjoying themselves, which I thought was interesting because they seemed like they kind of like very grandmas who'd be like very staid and like look at you disapprovingly. But then they were here they were in the museum, I don't know. They were in, they were very curious about the museum. So that was fun. But yeah, the museum was honestly like it was just so old and so like not updated since ages that it was just silly, you know. Like, it was just really funny. It was like, wow, people, this is what people did before they had the internet. This is what they had to create in order to entertain themselves because they didn't have corn hubs and OnlyFans. Uh, so that was, um, that was like very eye opening. <laughs> Um, and the, yeah, like there was this one thing it was like a hot, there were like lots of jump scares too. It was almost like a, a like one of those fun houses. Cause there was this one thing you just look through this like hot spring. It's like a hot spring scene from like a, an anime and you, you have to peek through, through the fence to sneak peek at the, the animatronic person behind. And then water squirts at you from nowhere. It squirted straight at my mom. And then she was like, <laughs> ah. And then, well, actually, I, she thought it was really funny. And then we watched, like, the group of guys go look through the, like, um, the window, and then they got squirted, and that was really funny, because they were really shocked. Um, 
And then at the very end, there was this super weird thing that I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in my short video, but I'll tell you guys about it. There was this massive butt with eyes on it, and you I thought I was just leaving the museum, and then like air got sprayed at me from like the giant butt with eyes, and I was so surprised. I actually screamed. I was like, "What the heck?" And then my mom was laughing at me so hard it was so embarrassing because she didn't get scared, but I got scared. I was not expecting a like a blast of air at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that was the adult museum. At the very end, there were some fun crane games where you could get um, interesting toys and glasses with noses that were not noses. They were definitely not noses on the glasses. It was like those, those like joke glasses, but th they were not the same joke glasses that you guys are familiar with. Uh, they had replaced the nose with a different body part. They were very entertaining. I kind of wanted to try winning one of the crane game. I did not win. Of course I didn't. I'm so bad at crane games. And you could have won toys too. All kinds of toys. But they were not that. They were adult toys. Uh, <laughs> they were very... They were... Well... I don't know. I mean... If the toys are too long and thick, I think they'd be really hard to catch with the crane game, you know? You've got to have them be like... Um, just the right size. <laughs> to catch with the claw <laughs> but yeah that that was uh a uh, very fun interesting museum i have no idea why they had this museum as like on the way just to go see this nice like sightseeing spot where you can go see the nice view of the town with the gondola but it was a fun detour um I, yeah I, there was a very strange place i don't know <laughs> why they why they decided to keep that there but i'm really glad they did we gotta go there you gotta go there before they decide to like cancel it or get rid of it it's very interesting museum uh ooh. i was look are we looking forward <laughs> to seeing Astarian's what we're looking forward to seeing yours my name's astarian i was involved astarian. in <laughs> Ropes. Um, uh, no ropes. I think I'm Maneki69. Hi, Astarian. I'm Maneki69. Do you know anything about these worms? Yeah, I know they go inside of you. Um, uh, no. Of that much, we can be certain. These worms are already affecting me. <laughs> I can feel it. But yeah, that was the adventure that we no. had. That was what a big adventure. Otherwise, I found some eel soda at a rest stop, which is really interesting. It's a soda made of eel. It's like Coca-Cola, but instead of Coke, they've got eel. Different, different illegal substances. Well, it's not illegal. Uh, eel isn't illegal, I don't think. Uh, uh, let's travel together. But maybe sticking with the herd Gotta have the vampire. Otherwise, idea. how are we gonna get all those sexy vampire uh, scenes? Like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. But yeah. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind The funny thing is, I've totally turned my parents into weeps because now they want to live in Japan. They don't even want to leave Japan. They want to go to. They want to live here. They want to come back. They want to stay here as much as they can, even despite the uh, the museum tour, <laughs> or maybe because of the museum tour. <laughs> oh, what's down there? Go find a church. Yes, you must cleanse your mind of the scenes we have discussed today. I will make a, um, yeah, I've definitely corrupted my parents. It's all my fault. Now they're like totally a dead anime. Well, they haven't, I don't think they've started watching hentai. I haven't shown them any hentai yet. <laughs> I think that might be a bit much. Oh, that would be funny though. <laughs> How do they get along day to day with the language barrier? Actually, they've been getting along great. They've made so many friends with random people and they don't even speak the same language. There's just like these random people who come up to them and they're like, you are, 
here, where are you from? And they're like, we're from America. And then suddenly they're best friends. It's great. My mom even, she went to a hot spring and she she went, made friends with like uh, some woman who was there. And then the woman gave her an extra hot spring towel. So like, uh, they're, they, they're, they're doing just fine all by themselves over here. <laughs> yeah, they're really, it's actually super easy to get along, I feel like, with, um, with people without the, even with despite the language barrier because even like people don't necessarily speak English but they're, they're willing to make an effort to communicate with like body language and Google the Google um, apps are always super helpful and then I don't know overall like people have just been so nice to them like I thought people just like maybe it's just my experience that people tend to be nice but no my parents have had tons of like really friendly experiences too um, so I think people just are overall fairly accepting, like, not to generalize everyone, but, but, like, I feel like the ratio of nice experiences, despite cultural barriers, is quite high. Ooh, I got stuff. So, and then obviously you can Google Translate all the signs, uh, with Google Translate, uh, app. Uh, and also all of the packaging and everything. Yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't say my dad is a pretty girl and people are nice to him. <laughs> I know, that's why I figured people just be nice because, like, I don't know, they're nice because whatever, you're young and friendly. But no, they were nice to my parents and they were nice even when I wasn't there. So that just goes to show it doesn't matter. You don't have to be a pretty girl and people can still be nice to you here. You can still have nice experiences and people can still give you their hot spring towels because you need a towel. <laughs> Ooh, money! <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're laughing, Gombrang. Ooh, a chest. No, a barrel. Who is this dead person? Mangled fisher, give me your fish. There's something fishy about these fishers. That's a bad pun. I guess we'll go rescue Shadowheart. Where's Shadowheart? <laughs> Old Japanese in the sailor outfit. I don't think they do the sailor outfit. Ah, oh, Shadowheart. Let's wake you up. No, <laughs> Shadowheart. <laughs> what are you dreaming about? <laughs> but yeah, I would say if you travel here, language wouldn't be such a huge issue. Mm, steal the artifact or wake her. Which should I do? I kind of want to take her. Ah, uh, I will reach for the artifact. We don't need friends. We're gonna steal your stuff. And Starion's like, yeah, you steal it. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Maneki's dad is best girl, obviously. Clearly. What are you doing? <laughs> Weapon master. <laughs> yeah, we were just checking. I wanted to see you. Let's honest you had anything worth thinking. Let's just be honest. I'll give you a pass this time, considering I owe you my life. And speaking of, how are we alive? Hello, Smelly. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Seems we're alive. Like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling, then nothing. I feel like her teeth look weird. I don't know why. Now what? First. We need supplies, shelter. Yep. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Bye. Wait. <laughs> Charging off by yourself sounds like. Oh, you want to come, Shadowheart? Do you want to come with us? Other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, all right. You can come. One thing, just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. 
It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I feel bad for skipping the voice actor's dialogue parts because they I know that they did such a good job on this one. Let's go. You did miss the story about corrupting my mom, but in the end, I think my mom was the one corrupting me, so that's fine. <laughs> she definitely took way more time in that museum than me. What's over here, and why can't we go across it? I want to go across. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. All right, let's go. Hmm. I don't know where to go. Let's go over here. But yeah, next stream, once I get my stream set up back in order, I want to open some eel soda and we can taste, uh, I don't know what soda made of eel tastes like. I have no idea what it'll taste like, but I think it won't be terrible because eel is pretty good. Yeah, we got the character arc. The corrupt character arc. Yeah, one of days, these days we're going to turn her into a VTuber and then the corruption will be complete. <laughs> Ancient door. Oh, we can level up now. These things have stayed interesting. Cool. What to do? Making you hungry for eel? Oh, I know they were wild. They just pretend like they weren't. At least I know my mom was. I'm pretty sure my dad was, like, a nerd. Well, he was a nerd. I know he's a nerd. But he's also, um... Uh, I know he was a nerd, but I also know he had really big muscles because he did, uh, rowing and worked out a lot. But it was still, like, a, like it was, like, a very, like, like, combo nerdy chad. Oh no, maybe we can use you to unlock it. Unlock it, bro. Do we have thieves tools? We don't have any thieves tools. Where do we get thieves tools? Let's go find some. Yeah, basically Henry Cavill. So think like Henry Cavill, but with like, um, but with the sandals and socks combo, like the Birkenstocks and then socks and then like a bunch of clothes spins in his clothes. Not because he was trying to be edgy, but because his clothes were like, had holes and he couldn't be bothered to sew them up. So he just fixed them with clothes spins. <laughs> so like, yeah, very, that kind of nerd. <laughs> Now let's unlock the door. Open. Sesame. Add bonus. Yes. I'm good at. Oh no. Have I succeeded a single roll yet? Oh wait, no. Off by one, guys. I have failed every single roll since starting. Uh huh. Let's see if we can succeed this time. 
Yeah, this time we're gonna succeed. Nice. Finally. Finally we've succeeded on our roll. Sandals and socks being considered edgy instead of comfy. No, no, the safety pins are the edgy part. The sandals and socks is just comfy slash like, um... Oh, I forgot to mention, they're not just sandals and socks. Sandals and knee-high socks with shorts. Uh, on a guy. Let, let, let's make it clear. But yeah, sandals and socks is comfy. But for some reason it's a taboo in the fashion world. I think it can look cute sometimes, but also when you've got like... Like those knee-high sports socks with Birkenstocks. I, oh, I know why it's it's bad. It's because your socks will get all dirty, right? When you walk, because sandals are open, so then your socks turn brown instead of white. I feel like if it's black socks, it would work, though, because then you can't tell that they're dirty. That's my new theory. I guess we should check for traps. Or just walk in. That works, too. Let's ungroup. And then check for traps. Oh, I like it. Homely. Of course you like a crypt. Be careful. There are traps about. Finally. We don't have any trap disarm kits. Oh yeah, that's high socks on woman looks great. I don't disagree with that. Knee-high socks also look great with like a like a short pleated skirt, like schoolgirl vibes, like anime. <laughs> yeah, it really, it really depends on the combination, you know. You gotta, you gotta style it. I feel like there, there is a way for it to work if you do it on purpose instead of just because it's what you have in your closet and it may or may not be clean. Oh, we pushed a button. Don't know if we were supposed to push the button. We pushed it. I forget. I've definitely solved this puzzle before. Now I forget. Skull! We have no trap disarm toolkit. Should we just kill it like a starion? I mean, dresses and sneakers are, are always chill, I feel like, at least now. Dresses and sneakers look good. I always wear dresses and sneakers. And sometimes I wear sandals and socks. Was there any treasure worth getting in here? <laughs> Sandals and these socks and a skirt on the guy. <laughs> yeah. Kind of look cute, though. especially if it's like a kilt. Ooh, kilts are, kilts are sexy. Fight never quiet. Pave my path with corpses. Build my castle with bones. <laughs> it's a trap. Ooh, stuff! I found a soul coin. I didn't know there's a soul coin in there. I wonder what it's worth. Found some stuff. So you push the button, and then I forget what you're supposed to do. Do you push the button again? There's a button here. Is there a button over here? There's no button over here. Totally forget what we're supposed to do with this. Oh, a trap. Oh, we don't have a trap disarm toolkit. Open anyway. Oh no! <laughs> we have died horribly! Now what? Oh... Now what do I do? 
<laughs> Let's go back to camp and <laughs> get undead. Careful, I died. <laughs> I know there was something you're supposed to do, but I, for I forget what it was. Hmm. Ah, uh, whoops. I also forget how to un fire that place. Do we need our corpses to be able to revive ourselves or can we just like <laughs> Maybe we should go get withers. Withers can help us. Whoopsies. <laughs> I don't want to revive anyone. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Stop it. No. How do I unrevive? What? Oh, the fire went out. If the fire is out, does that mean now I can open the gate sarcophagus? It keeps going boom. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need rip withers. Oh. Oh no. I don't have any. Oh, I do have thieves tools. Oof. Oh, great. Seriously? I think I'm stuck. That's what she said. Cuz... Hmm. Let's do that. Oh wait, no, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna do that. And get on fire. Bye! Oh no, we're all dead! <laughs> Let's go back to, where were we? A dank crypt. Let's go back to the dank crypt. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I uh, have gotten no nat twenties, but two nat ones out of the first few since starting. It's the worst luck. But the game knows. It knows my dark secrets. It knows I'm unlucky. A trail. Someone doesn't like visitors. So what we really need is a trap disarm toolkit. We're just gonna walk out of here and leave and come back later. Bye. Right. I'm probably gonna finish. The game can smell your fear. They know, it knows. It knows that I cannot win. It is defeating me. Let's go up here. No, 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 over here. This corpse. Come here. I didn't. Hey, go. All right. What now? 
footprints. There may be even more that survived the crash. I wonder who it could be. Oh, it's. Oh, no. Let's go oh, stick our know. arm inside the hole. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. We are going to touch the sigil. I wish you could just give him an actual hand. That would be funny. Just... <laughs> uh... Do I know how to do math, Echo? I... Do not know how to do math. I mean, technically I do, but I'm bad at it. Not 20, finally! Of course it's when I'm trying to save Gale. I don't even want to save Gale that much. <laughs> Gale's I right. But he keeps taking your magic stuff. Hi, Gale. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of oh, two X minus nine Y equals ten, and minus six X plus four Y equals four to get X and Y. Oh, that math. Bleh. It's one of those problems. I don't know. You tell me. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like you've got to split them up somehow, so the x's and the y's are... It's like 2x equals 10 and then plus 9y and then minus 6y, I don't know. Anyway, you need to split them up, I think. You need to put the x's and the y's on either side and then figure it out. I don't know, math. It's been ages. Uh... I had not wasted my time. I didn't exactly memorize my cephalopodian banishment spells last night. Cephalopodian banishment? An by squid. No one's prepared for an attack by squid. You, Except for me, I'm always prepared for an attack by squid. Well. Never mind the Nautiloid, how did you get stuck in that stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I Yeah, I don't know your homework, Echo. I'm not doing your homework. Yo, you, did you pay attention in class? I think you typed it wrong too. I think you should have written, um, it should have been 6x equals 69. How about you? How did you survive the fall? Um, I took control of the ship, landed it safely, and saved the day. Vast burning wreckage behind Definitely, that's what happened. Story, I saved everybody. So who am I to argue? Still, swashbuckling yeah. heroics aside, <laughs> I have no that one. suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome An ocular insertion. insertion. In ocular region, were you not? <laughs> so we're calling it from now on the ocular insertion. <laughs> Couldn't have phrased it more repellently no, myself. Is there. The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Oh, it's almost it's been an hour or so since I started streaming. I'm probably going to call it a day. It will turn us into mind oh yeah, the voice acting is amazing for this. That's why they got the the voice you, acting awards. Well, Neil, uh, what's his name? By any chance, do you? A Starian's actor got. Surgeon. Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. Um, got the award this year. 
for best voice actor because his voice acting's really good. Realize it's beyond most cleric skills. Most, no doubt. But I gotta learn from them. To be in the presence of the few. And they mocapped them too, so their face you acting is also part of the acting. Gotta watch their faces and their bodies, the body language. As we've established, Hello, you know can. it's not exactly a common affliction. Right, it's done an hour, guys. Today's not very long stream, but I wanted to stream because it's been too long since I streamed before. I almost cancelled this stream because, like, uh, yeah, everything was just going wrong, and now my stomach was hurting, and I was like, ah. Oh, but I said, you know, it's been it's been two weeks. I need to say hi, and I miss you guys, so I got to stream. But I think we're gonna call it a day pretty soon, cause, um, yeah because I'm tired and my stomach hurts and this game is glitchy and I need to go fix it and also figure out why Genshin Impact wasn't working on my computer um, and also figure out why everything else wasn't working on my computer though I, I mainly got most things to work just not all the things I wanted oh you can join us let's collect them all parasite like Pokemon is a parasite halved. I wish we could put them in balls I want to put all of these guys in balls. Before you think you're about to embark on a like journey Pokemon. with the most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will I'm present themselves. I'm not a huge fan of you. Turn the favor. Yeah, thanks, Smelly. Thanks, Lance. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by and watching. I'm glad. Uh, you guys are able to join and um, next stream will be hopefully day after tomorrow because um, yeah because I haven't been streaming a lot and I want to stream more uh, start streaming more again so I'm gonna try and pick up some more streaming in the mornings my time so probably the day after tomorrow Normally I would stream tomorrow, but I have to go wear kimono with my family and then go uh, go do that touristy stuff with them. So I'm going to be wearing kimono, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, so I guess this is goodbye. Be good and wait in the box for me to come back. My lovely little tabby cats. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. See you around. See ya. Bye, Kick. Bye, Smelly. Bye, Echo Leons. Everybody. I will catch, I catch you guys in the box. Yeah, I kind of want to go back to sleep, actually. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Bye.